Hey everyone, it's Job. I hope you're doing well. As you can tell from the title of this video, we are unboxing a new ring bound system called Plotter. We're going to be restoring a Plotter notebook, which is a little bit of some spoilers for the later part of this video. And then we're going to set up this Plotter system at the last part of this video. But before we do anything, I just want to give you a little bit of some background information about Plotter. So basically, Plotter is under the large umbrella company called Designfill, which also owns Midori, which we all know and love, and Traveler's Company, which makes my beloved Traveler's Notebook, or maybe I should say our beloved Traveler's Notebook. And they also make um, Knox um, like planners and ring bound systems and leather goods, which is a little bit of um, a similar product to Plotter, but Plotter is a little bit more minimal and sleek. And lastly, Designfill also uh, has a company called Touch and Flow. Uh, but Plotter's main like claim to fame, I think, this is just my opinion, is how sleek it is. It kind of borrows the aesthetic of the Traveler's Notebook, but refines it and makes it a, lot, a little more classy. So it's kind of like the Traveler's Notebook's sophisticated older brother or sister because we have some gold plating and it has very, very tiny, small rings. So unlike other ring bound systems that we know and love like Filofax and Gilio, these rings are tiny. So you are not meant to stuff it. It is meant to be all the essentials and it should be a planner that doesn't kind of overwhelm you, but kind of meaningfully integrates into your life. But that's just my opinion. It's kind of similar to Plotter's mission statement, but go check out um, Plotter's website and information and social medias down below. But let's get started with the unboxing. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. What? Oh my gosh. It does it look hairy? <laughs> what? Interesting. Whoa. Okay, 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 okay. Dang, this has been used. <laughs> it's beat. <laughs> I can't believe I have it in my hands, though. It's pretty. It's used. It is very used. When you're like, it's a used notebook. It is, it is used. <laughs> wow, look at that. I wonder what the color was inside. Like, why is there? Okay, it smells all right. That's not mold, right? This is what I'm saying. I thought there was hair. Do you see that? It feels like... I don't know if it's... That's what the... The Pueblo leather has, like... It's been roughed up, right? So I guess it has that kind of texture on it. But, yeah. It's interesting. I, I love it. It looks really cool let me grab my traveler's notebook okay to compare this is a five-year-old traveler's notebook this might be older you can kind of see it's very aged that this isn't as flush the leather to the metal you can kind of see if i pull you can see that okay size comparison so they look pretty good in size. Regular traveler's notebook. This is a good size. This feels really manageable and quite professional actually. Um, and then, yeah, I like, I think they complement each other well. In terms of the leather, the Pueblo has that kind of like um, roughed up texture, so it patinas nicely. Um, but this leather looks a lot more aged compared to this leather, which I've had for f five or six years now. Um, they both feel very luxurious. This has the very similar, I think these are super similar. This just has a finer, like, grain to it. This almost looks like there's just <laughs> hair. It's so interesting. But I am going to do a quick clean on this just because it looks a little bit, you know, a little bit aged. 
it's so very beautiful the gold plating has not come off the hardware which is good it's just so interesting how this is kind of in there i think i'm just gonna give it a quick brush to dislodge anything that might be there it's so interesting that i got a used plotter as my first one i couldn't pass off the deal but i do want a new one so i can age it myself and give it its own character by myself because i don't know it feels weird getting something that's already pre pre-aged for me i love adding its own the, my own character to my leather goods so yep i love it you can probably see it's a lot tinier and it's actually smaller than my hobonichi weeks even if you open it like the inserts the inserts are smaller very similar if you like the weeks i think you'll like the plotter narrow size it'll lie flat it's fine I think I'm going to condition the leather. It looks like it's hanging on for dear life. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing reaction. I can't believe I legit thought there was hair on this notebook, but that's actually the little brush marks from the gold brush uh, texturizing method that they use on this leather to give it that nice texture. So it's not hair. And upon cleaning with a damp towel and moisturizing with mink oil, the leather came out really nice. And I believe there was just like some surface dirt on it. You can see the whole cleaning process, but basically I just wiped it down with a damp cloth, let it dry. And then I put layers of this mink oil. I have the kind of paste version because I just like how you can buff it in and then use a towel or a rag to wipe off the excess. And I just did that probably like two to four times um i even did it on the inside because that's the portion of the leather that i had the most questions with I, there was like this kind of brownish tinge and the leather kind of felt like the inside of a traveler's notebook it's a little bit more suede -y. i just it didn't seem like all of the other Puebro leather notebooks. So I did some investigating and I emailed the eBay seller and I was curious to find out that this is actually the third home for this notebook. I am the third owner because the eBay seller bought it secondhand off of a Japanese site to check out the leather before um, splurging on a new one. It's such a fun story because they ended up um, liking uh, the Puebro over the Lichio, with the, which is what they ended up buying, but they ultimately had to let it go just because they couldn't get used to the ring system, uh, which is really interesting. So I'm the third owner, and from their knowledge, it seems like um, this wasn't dyed. It, there was no mention of dyeing the leather in the listing when they bought it, and they also think that since black is one of the like common colors for the Puebro leather line of plotter notebooks they think this is not dyed so um kind of myth busted i guess uh but it's also really interesting because um i think the ebay seller watches um the youtube uh videos that i put out so hi if you're watching uh but yeah uh let's continue on it's been two days since we started the cleaning and restoration journey for this notebook and I'm finally at the point where I think I'm ready to put some inserts in and play around with my setup. As you can see, after two days, the mink oil has fully like absorbed and moisturized the leather and I think that the mink oil really did um, bring out the really nice natural patina in the leather. It's already been nicely aged for me but I think the mink oil just kind of boosted it a little bit more and made the little scratches in the leather um, that's kind of part of the Puebro leather look a little bit more subdued and it doesn't really look like hair anymore which is good it just looks like a nice texture and that's the thing that I was kind of like not put off by but a little bit alarmed um when i first saw it because i legit thought there was hair on the notebook but um, with the mink oil and the the conditioning it looks a little bit more um a little bit more toned down but um still evident which is nice um i also made a few tab dividers i'll show you a full flip through of everything that i use right now i'm actually just playing around with what to put inside so uh you'll see me like moving around things really quickly but i made these tab dividers um because i wanted to personalize this notebook but not add too much bulk so i made these kind of thicker uh dividers but i think 
they'll serve its purpose well because it adds some decoration to the notebook but also keeps um, everything nice and divided and also gives you a nice writing surface if you're writing in this notebook um, but yeah I'll talk about the different tabs later there are also different um, inserts so this is actually an insert that I that came with this eBay listing but it's um, from plotter the two inserts that I just included were the pen holder with lifter so that's like a concealed pen loop which I love I did that in my own traveler's notebook heavily inspired by plotter and Patrick Ng and I also included the band with lifter which is kind of like an elastic closure for the plotter system that kind of mimics the traveler's notebook um, closure but instead of it being a horizontal closure this is a vertical closure and right now I'm just adding the various inserts. I put some two millimeter grid in some of the tab dividers. I'm also showing you this beautiful project management tool or insert from Plotter. This is a way to track your projects and you would put your inserts in the inside of this folder. So anything related to like a certain project would go inside one of these folders. So if I was planning a washi release, I would kind of do all my planning in there. There's a to master to-do list at the back. There's a Gantt tracker or chart in the front, which I really don't know how to use. I'll have to research how to use this chart, but I feel like it'd be really useful for project management, hence um, <laughs> the name of the project management insert. But I put that in the projects tab and I like how you can insert random or um, well, not random, like your actual uh, inserts that you're using so you can put a to-do list insert in there there's just different inserts um, that plotter um, makes but i only have these because the, some of these came with um, the ebay listing but i also bought the to-do list inserts because i was really interested in the to-do list sheets the to-do list sheets actually have a really interesting uh, layout it's kind of more of a tracker and to-do list hybrid because it gives you different stages of completion for each task so you can finish tasks to 25 percent 50 75 or 100 percent which i like uh, because i always feel like i have all these tasks that i start but it never finish and it's kind of disheartening when you're not able to check something off the list but with this kind of tracking system you feel like you can uh like finish tasks and also mindfully know when you need to continue a task but here is the exact uh setup for this notebook so upon opening this notebook, you are greeted with this kind of inbox dashboard that has a composition notebook style uh, layout that I designed myself and I put my name obviously. Uh, we have some dot, uh, well, regular grid and then we end up going into the project management tab, which has the project management insert. Then we have the to-do lists with this beautiful to-do list insert paper that I talked about earlier with the different stages of completion. Next up, we have the references page. So this is where I'm gonna put any reference information, especially for running a sticker shop. There's a lot of stuff that I refer to a lot. And then the last part is just notes. So if I just have to jot down anything, I'd probably end up going to the back part. So I have it in the notes section. I also have the lifters there. I have the band lifter, which I'm showing you right now and this just keeps the the notebook nice and closed especially if you have a lot more inserts it'll let um, the insert close properly and then lastly I just have the pen holder with lifter and I put that at the back just so it's not adding too much bulk but this is the completed setup I really enjoyed showing you my plotter journey it's been a long well, not that long. It's been just like a three-day process, but it felt like a really long and tedious um, setup because we had like the cleaning and the restoration part. But I feel really happy with uh, how this notebook turned out. Again, I'm using this for anything related to Job's journal, if I didn't mention. So um, this will get a lot of use. Um, it's not going to go with me everywhere, but I know that I can use it and bring it with me easily because it's quite thin and portable. It is a little bit weighty though. That's one thing that I should say. The plotter notebooks are heavier than they look because of the amazing metal bar feature at the spine. But overall, I'm loving this notebook. I love how it looks. It's so sleek, it's so professional. If I had like a more formal um, setting of a job, I mean, I work as a teacher, uh, but I feel like if I had like a board meeting, this would look really cool. But uh, you best believe that I will be 
collecting more of these plotter notebooks in the future especially when they launch in north america uh, because i do want to try the bible size which is similar to the narrow size that i purchased but slightly wider which gives me a little bit more room and i'm also interested in getting the micro 5 or the mini 5 version which as we all know is something that i enjoy i love the mini 5 rings uh, overall i've been enjoying rings and i am kind of in this renaissance of trying out new stationery so if you have any new notebook systems that you are interested in or would like more information please let me know because i'm always happy to try things out and tinker and learn more about different systems again if you have any questions about the plotter system let me know um, i'll leave all of the information and relevant um sites that you can check out if you're interested in plotter down below again this is not sponsored this is just something that i'm genuinely interested in and again thank you to the ebay seller who listed this you know who you are it was a beautiful price thank you so much for um listing this and i will see you all next time with a journaling video bye everyone <laughs>